بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از ڈاکٹر موزم ٹیوانا ہیئر اینڈ ان ٹوڈیز کلاس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دی یو ایم ٹی ایس سیلز لوکیشن ایریاز راؤٹنگ ایریاز اینڈ دی رو یو ٹرین رجسٹریشن ایریاز ان دا یو ایم ٹی ایس دیز اینٹیٹیز آر ناٹ اونلی امپارٹنٹ ان اے تھری جی یو ایم ٹی ایس نیٹ ورک فرام دی پرسپیکٹو آف دی نیٹ ورک پلاننگ بٹ دے آر آلسو ویری امپارٹنٹ وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ دی موبیلٹی اینڈ دی موبیلٹی مینجمنٹ آف اے یوزر اکوپمنٹ اور اے موبائل ان اے تھری جی یو ایم ٹی ایس نیٹ ورک نو فرسٹ آف آل وی کم ٹو دا تھری جی یو ایم ٹی ایس سیل 3G, 3G UMTS cell is basically the smallest coverage area that can be defined. For example, in this case, we can see that we have a node B and this node B has three directional antennas and each of these directional antennas is serving one cell. For example, this uh, directional antenna is serving this cell, this is serving this cell and this directional antenna is serving this cell and each of these cell has its own cell id so this is a traditional configuration where uh, a node b is basically uh, ser serving or controlling three cells and this may change but the traditional configuration is three cells per node b now we come to the location areas Look, the significance and the importance of the location area is for the circuit switch domain. As we earlier talked about that in 3G, the core network is basically divided into the circuit switch domain and the packet switch domain. So when a mobile is on, this means that it has registered itself with the network, but it is not in a circuit switched call. In that case, location area is important for us to manage its mobility uh, this means that this mobile is in idle mode not in a circuit switched call so we know that uh, the coverage area of a mobile network for example this for example in this 3g umts network is divided into multiple msc areas for example here we have four MSC areas and this MSC area can further be divided into location areas for example if this is a MSC area number one okay so this MSC area is divided into this is first location area which is in green color in it and it has three cells this is second location area which is in yellow color and it is also it has also three cells and this is third location area which is in brown color and it has two cells so the so here this msc area has three location areas now for example a mobile is here in this cell if this mobile moves from this cell to this cell in that case uh, there is a cell change but in the idle mode when this mobile is not in a call this mobile does not need to inform the network that its cell has changed rather cell update will only be done when this mobile Uh, changes uh, its position from one location area to another for example this mobile if it goes from this location area to this location area in that case there is a change in the uh, location area and this mobile would then do the a procedure which is known as the location area update and this location area up uh, so but th the next question is that how does the mobile know that its location area is has changed basically the location area is defined by the are characterized by the location area identity which is broadcast on the broadcast or bccs channel of the node b and so the mobile is constantly monitoring the bccs channel so it comes to know when the location area changes next question is that why we are uh, managing the mobility of mobile in terms of location area why we are not doing the updates uh, each time a mobile changes a cell the purpose of doing this is that if each time when a mobile changes itself and we 
uh, update its uh, update the cell change to the network that this would cause cause a lot of signaling load on the uh, network so in order to reduce the signaling uh, load on the network we only update uh, the uh, location area of the mobile when uh, location area of the mobile is changed so uh, the uh, so that means that in the idle mode the location of a mobile is only known at the resolution of the location area this means that the core network knows that this mobile is somewhere in this location area are the cells which are uh, which are included in this location area so when there is a incoming call for this mobile that means that uh, all these cells need to be paged uh, to inform this uh, mobile that a call is coming for it so uh, so there is a compromise between the location area size if we keep the location areas too small means that there are fewer cells in location area then signaling signaling node on the network increases on the other hand if we make the location areas very large then in that case we need to page uh, many cells that are included in that location area in order to inform that mobile that there is an incoming call for that network now we come to the routing areas basically routing areas are used in the idle mode this means that you have enabled the data connection with the 3g umts network but it is not in a packet switched uh, call and this means that routing areas are used in the idle mode for the packet switch domains and here the purpose is again same to reduce the signaling node on the network this means that in idle state when a mobile changes its position from one cell to another cell but it is in same location area in that case its routing area would not be updated but when a mobile changes its position or moves from one routing area to another routing area in that case routing area update would be done and this information about the routing area update would be stored in the sgsn remember that uh, sgsn uh, performs the function of the uh, as, uh, serves as a mse or of the uh, packet switch network there is one another thing i would like to po point out that this location area update procedure basically uh, is to inform the msc of the circuit switch domain that uh, that that the location area has changed and this for information is stored in the vlr and in this case in the case of packet switch domain the sgsn is equivalent to the msc uh, along with the vlr so the routing area update information is stored in the sgsn and the purpose of doing the routing area updates instead of uh, uh, updating the network each time when a mobile changes from one cell to another cell is to again to reduce the signaling load on the network now coming to the uh, and then the next question comes that how does the mobile node know about its routing area again the routing area code of a routing area is broadcast on the bccs channel uh, so as the mobile is monitoring the bccs channel so it knows the when its uh, routing area code changes and it then informs the sgsn about it now coming to the relationship between the location area and the routing area one condition is that the routing area cannot be bigger than the location area uh, and there can be multiple routing areas in a location area for example if this is a location area whole so we have this is routing area number one which has uh, cells colored as uh, yellows routing area number 2 routing area number 3 and routing area number 4 okay so it has this location area has four routing areas 
now we come to the u trend registration areas or urs uh, the most important thing to know about the u tran uh, registration area or ura is that ura are used to manage the mobility in the connected mode this means that this ura is used when a mobile is either in a circuit switched call or it is in a packet switched call in that case uh, its mobility is managed using the URAs are U uh, U tran registration areas, and one another important aspect is that URA is only known to the U tran core uh, U tran core network does not know about the URA of a user equipment. It is uh, basically this identity is local to the U tran or the access network of the uh, of the uh, 3G UMTS network. So uh, now coming about the size of a URA, a URA may span a part of RNC, or multiple RNC can be part of a URA. And another interesting thing about URA is that URA may overlap with one another also. So uh, as far as the specifications are concerned, there is no requirement. Uh, between uh, for the uh, there is no requirements or conditions on the relationship between LAs and URAs or RAs and URAs. This means that the planning of URA uh, can be independent of the LAs and RAs. Okay, so but. Uh, the normally what conf the configuration that is used that this configuration is that a location area for example this is a location area which is in yellow color it is divided into multiple routing areas okay we have these routing areas and each of these routing areas is then divided into uh, multiple URAs okay and so uh, here we can see that there are different URAs that can that can overlap with one another also so and uh, it is also possible uh, possible that uh, this location area is part of a bigger URA okay so now we come to the question that why URAs are important in the connected mode URAs are important in the connected mode that for example uh, there is a packet call with the network okay uh, and for example we are browsing some uh, there is during a call uh, we are browsing some website okay so the we are using the data of the network but this using of the network is uh, intermittent there is a data activity and there is not a data activity during that call so in that case uh, when this mobile is transferring no data with the network but this mobile is in connected mode that it is in a packet switched call but it is not uh, transmitting data with the network and if that mobile is in high mobility this means that this mobile is moving and it is very quickly changing its cells okay in that case uh, doing the cell cell updates each time a cell changes if this mobile is going on a very high speed car so changing the cells as the mobile changes the cell this would put a lot of signaling load on the uh, network that this mobile needs to inform the network that it is changing its cells but at the same time we know that this cell is not transferring any data with the network so what we do that instead of doing the cell updates during this call we only update the URAs. This means that when there is a change of the URA, we only need to update the network about the change of the URA. Uh, so the condition is when there is no data transfer, but uh, mobile is in high mobility. So in order to reduce the signaling node on the network, we instead of doing cell, cell updates, we only do the URA updates. So uh, thank you for your attention, uh, hope to, uh, we will talk more about 
about uh, the URAs uh, and the location areas and the routing areas when we talk about the cell states. So stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe to my channel.